In the heartland of America, green rolling hills and vast central plains mark the early pioneers' passage to the west. Along the Missouri River, Kansas City straddles two states, Missouri and Kansas. The state line runs through greater Kansas City, but it's a seamless divide. Ever since its opening of the gateway to the west, greater Kansas City has continued to thrive. Offering a singular American heritage with a charge of the contemporary, from music to art to dining, Kansas City has some secrets to share. Kansas City, here I come. Most Americans are familiar with this pioneer day's expression. And today, Kansas City retains the upward mobility and vitality that have kept it a place of exciting comings and goings. The sense of progressive growth has steadily risen since the days when Kansas City opened the way to the West. Today, millions of visitors come to Kansas City. They come to Kansas City to enjoy the many amenities that a large city has to offer, and they come to enjoy the European influence, the Old West heritage, and that great Midwestern hospitality. Growth continues in this major metropolitan area, where one of America's most user-friendly airports welcomes travelers from around the world. As a touring destination, Kansas City enhances motor coach trips on the way to Branson, Missouri. Branson has become one of the most popular motor coach destinations in America, and groups have found adventures in Kansas City are a special addition to their motor coach itinerary. With so many places to visit in and around town, sheer spontaneity may guide the days spent in Kansas City. Art Deco, classic, and rustic architectural styles dominate the cityscape often enjoyed from one of the colorful city trolleys. The personality of Kansas City comes alive in the districts of the city. Distinctive plazas, world-renowned food, Midwestern hospitality, and the roots of American jazz create a lively spirit citywide. Starting in the downtown area and branching out into the neighboring historic districts, visitors discover a trail of exciting setting. Finding the pulse in Westport means tapping into a spirit of excitement that has lingered long. The majority of the pioneers heading west were outfitted in this section of town. Key Civil War battles were also fought here. A dynamic and unique character continues to thrive. The oldest buildings in the city are in Westport, and renovations conducted with respect for the past have renewed the beat of a variety of popular specialty shops, restaurants, and nightclubs. Statues in town signify the people of the early frontier days. The river market was first occupied by fur traders and Native Americans. The area is now a mecca for visitors and locals, featuring morning fresh produce brought in by farmers from throughout the region. The outdoor market leads to a relic of Americana not to be missed. At the Arabia Steamboat Museum, the intriguing remains of the wreck of the Arabia are now a time capsule of life before 1860. When the boat hit a snag in the Missouri River, it sank with a full load of cargo. The salvaged artifacts tell a rare tale in their display. At Kelly's Westport Inn, they boast of past owner Albert Boone, a relative of Daniel Boone. He built the structure in 1837, today the oldest in Kansas City. Since Prohibition was repealed, it has served as a saloon. In 1959, it was officially declared a national landmark. Rivaling the fame of Kelly's is the city's three-dog bakery. All family members are welcome to place orders of the day. More frequently, choppers have bags filled with take-home goodies. Sometimes in Kansas City, the hardest decision to make is where and what to eat. Food is held in high regard and variety is every bit a part of the reasons why. Menus offer international cuisine that spans the globe, but the grandest offering is American fare, the famous Kansas City barbecue, proudly waves the unofficial flag for best barbecue in the world. Recipes for the spicy sauces were brought up from the open pit grills of the South and the heart of Texas. 
Around town, chefs compete with their own secret recipes, making an excursion of barbecue taste testing. The fantastic settings enhance the dining experience throughout Kansas City, where critics have named it one of the finest in the country for presentation, quality, and service. The world headquarters of Hallmark Cards is located in Kansas City at Crown Center. Folks easily lose themselves amid the Hallmark Visitor Center, and Crown Center offers spectacular shops and year-round entertainment. In its time, Union Station was recognized as one of the country's largest railway stations. Today, it plays host to celebrations of every kind. In the future, it will house a new Science City Museum. Towering over Union Station and reminding us of those brave men and women who served in World War I is one of the country's only World War I monuments, the Liberty Memorial. Outdoor festivals will always feature music. From the plazas to the park, free entertainment is found in settings throughout the city. The Country Club Plaza allows visitors to set their own pace. A vast selection of shopping is complemented by a concentration of memorable restaurants, cinemas, and galleries. Steeped in the imagery of Europe, the plaza is modeled after Seville, Spain. And as the holiday season strikes, the Country Club Plaza is ablaze with a nationally acclaimed display of lights. On Thanksgiving Eve, Kansas City's holiday metamorphosis begins. Slowly, Kansas City is transformed into a Charles Dickens fairy tale. It can be experienced at Crown Center. Here you will marvel at one of the country's tallest natural Christmas trees. Drive through the expansive winter wonderland light displays at Longview Lake, and you'll be captured in its beauty and holiday spirit. In nearby Independence, Missouri, the National Frontier Trail Center chronicles the role of Kansas City in opening the West to the bold and hopeful Americans of the day. The historic routes west along the Oregon, Santa Fe, and California trails are revealed. The town of Independence is also where Harry S. Truman's Summer White House and the Truman Library and Museum are located. Truman was born, raised, and spent most of his life working in the Kansas City area. From his days as a judge to his crucial time as president, Truman is fondly remembered in the town of Independence. Kansas City is a sports enthusiast delight, for it's here that you'll find the home of the Kansas City Chiefs and the Kansas City Royals. Kansas City touring often includes a stop in Overland Park, Kansas, a nearby suburb. Be sure to stop by the National Collegiate Athletics Association Visitor Center and rediscover the thrill of NCAA competition. A popular accompaniment is dinner and a Broadway show at the new theater restaurant also in Overland Park. Throughout the cultural life in Kansas City, international performances of drama, dance, opera, and symphony are frequent and the powerful faction of jazz and blues musical styles cultivated in Kansas City has contributed to the legacy of American music. The district of 18th and Vine is the future home of the Jazz Hall of Fame, marking a crossroad of originality and soul. Charlie Bird Parker was born here, and musical giants such as Duke Ellington made regular stops in the 30s and 40s. African American history and great sport legends are explored at the Negro League Baseball Museum. Here you'll find a rare treatment of the history of an accomplished league of American baseball. Numerous galleries around the city provide shoppers with enticing artistry and ethnically rich gifts and collectibles. Each unique gallery offers an educational as well as aesthetic experience in a range of artistic styles. Museums in Kansas City abound. Especially noteworthy is the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art, housing more than 30,000 works of art. The Depression-era buyer's market helped secure the permanent galleries. Displays include works by Monet, Degas, and Rembrandt, an extensive and world-renowned Asian collection, and the sculptures of Henry Moore, featured in elaborate gardens that include the recently placed shuttlecock. Along the river, authentic riverboats host gaming, dining, and entertainment year-round. The paddle wheelers trigger nostalgic visions of early days with passengers wearing taffeta and bows and cowboy hats and spurs. 
Some claim that the gaming never left the river regions. Today, Riverboat Entertainment treats guests to a traditional flair that lends itself to the overall culture. Summer attracts crowds to the parks and lakes surrounding the city. And two major amusement parks are side by side. Oceans of fun and worlds of fun offer thrills for children of all ages. Vacationers encounter a clean and uncongested metropolitan area, whether arriving by motor coach, airplane, or via convenient interstate access ways. Accommodations found throughout Greater Kansas City include upscale hotels, moderately priced inns, and lovely bed and breakfast establishments. Kansas City shares a heritage rooted as solidly as the courage and ambition of American tradition, now and then. With a knack for progressing in style, Kansas City, Missouri, a beautiful city of fountains, satisfies visitors in a seemingly boundless variety of culture, food, shopping, history, and fun.